What's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you for an ML Sports Take brought to you by Stanley Law Offices, Camillus Golf Club, and Stumble and Monkey Brewing Company. My Bonaventure faithful, if you're in and around Victor in the Rochester area, stop by and see Stumble and Monkey Brewing Company. Great beers on tap, crawlers and growlers to go. It's all there at Stumble and Monkey Brewing, and you can check them out online before your visit as well, excuse me, at stumblingmonkeybeer.com. So, some recent news that popped down yesterday. Uh, St. Bonaventure senior guard Kyle Lofton has declared for the NBA draft according to an NBA release. And just to kind of remind everybody of what, um, you know, the release, uh, the rule, I should say, says is, and this happened about six years ago, the NCAA rule change was formally presented by the NCAA Men's Basketball Oversight Committee on June 24th, 2015. It was approved by the Division I Council on the 13th of January in 2016. What it states is the new rule, which took effect with the 2016 draft, specifically sets the new withdrawal date at 10 days after the NBA draft combine. Additionally, players may declare for the draft multiple times without losing college eligibility as long as they withdraw before the new deadline without hiring an agent or signing a pro basketball contract and are now allowed uh, to attend the draft combine in one tryout per year for each NBA team without losing college eligibility. However, it has been stated that current commissioner Adam Silver, uh, he was working uh, for a while there to change the rule and meeting with NCAA officials, blah, 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 all that taking place. So Lofton still obviously with a lot of options can try to get drafted. Uh, if he so chooses, he can sign an agent and then that's it. Uh, or, you know, he can kind of pull out and, and, you know, buy a deadline and say, screw it. I'm going to go back to Bana or he could pull out within a, a week and say, I'm going to the transfer portal, which Dom Welch just did, by the way. So um, anyway, Kyle Lofton, that's what we're dealing with with Kyle Lofton. Those are his options right now. Um, you know, again, I think that the, the the big thing to think about with all these guys is, you know, it's just, it's the freedom of, uh, of almost being a free agent, you know, to a certain extent. I mean, you can be a senior uh, and, and have, you know, a Corona year and still have a ton of options. Um, you know, you could try to go play overseas. You can stay in college and work with the NIL and, um, you know, still have that college life. I mean, there's, you can go somewhere else for college and experience another program. So, uh, it's, uh, it's a wild, wild world these days with NIL and with the transfer portal. So, uh, Kyle Lofton, obviously, obviously wish him the best, uh, in his future. If he's a Bonnie or not, you know, let's see what happens. But he did, in fact, declare for the NBA draft according to an NBA release. And we'll see if he does keep his college eligibility and or, you know, withdraw uh, if, if he, you know, withdraws the, the, the name. Um, it'll be very interesting to uh, to see what Kyle Lofton does do. Uh, at the end of the day, we obviously want at least somebody to come back from that from that five group uh, starting five, but uh, it, it uh, I think it's looking a little bleaker by the day that uh, most, if not all, of these guys will be gone. Um, and you know the Bonnies are going to try to fill up that roster as soon as they possibly can, and they have done so with a lot of players already. Uh, so we'll see uh, what the future holds for Bonaventure. So good luck to Kyle Lofton one way or the other, hoping that he does keep his uh, eligibility door open and, uh, you know, hey, withdraw maybe he withdraws from the NBA draft and, and all the rest and, and pulls back and says, see you later. Um, I'm going back to school. I'm going back to Bana. Or, again, transfer portal could go somewhere else. So uh, I'm Mike Lindsley anyway. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Those things help an awful, awful lot. And the video is brought to you by Tiny Bubbles Laundromat, Welch & Company Jewelers, and your State Farm agent, Matt Graham. If you're in and around the great state of New York, hey, check out SyracuseInsuranceAgent.com. Get a free rate quote today from Matt Graham, uh, a proud ML Sports Platter sponsor. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.